Okay, let's show you an um, example of the uh, graph, the rectilinear graph and the, uh, the rectilinear graph and similar graph uh, as you will see it. Um, usually it could be a, a notebook that is uh, completely rectilinear or linear or another notebook that is completely uh, a similog. But again, it uh, depends on... Um, what you are having so let's start with the linear graph here if you can see the spaces between each and every square is the same compared to each other uh, either the smallest squares the uh, medium sized squares or the largest squares all of them whatever if you compare each size with each other with the, each other they are uh, the same size so whatever if you have x versus y x uh, and y will have a linear uh, margin uh, or linear uh, uh, axis okay if we are talking about the similar graph it depends on the cycles that you have and this one we have three cycles of uh, logarithm on the y-axis you can see if you start from the lower uh, left from here from the, the lower left of uh, the uh, the uh, graph uh, you can find uh, that it's larger spaces and start to increase as the cycle starts to um, increase in number or as we go up in the uh, in the graph and the same thing for the second scale and the third scale and so on and so forth okay so uh, again in uh, this um, uh, I mentioned this earlier uh, related to um, the uh, y uh, uh, axis x axis if we are talking about um, the linear equation so if you have uh, this linear equation you should be able to determine your slope your intercept which is your y intercept and uh, you should be able to sketch it according to the uh, sorry this is um, this is uh, y and this is x so you need to uh, sketch it so according to this because we don't have signs so i would consider it positive it will be like this and this will be b which is the y intercept and this will be the slope which is a okay um another thing that you need to take into consideration and be uh, careful about it when we are talking about semi uh, log uh, we are not talking about actual transformation uh, to the uh, logarithms. We didn't do that. We just have them on a log scale. Okay, just let's um, um, summarize it or show you this in a minute. Okay, so uh, when we were talking about the linear graph, we have this, right? Y versus X and we have different points okay if we are talking about concentration here time this will be let's say in hour and this is in mass over volume as unit what we draw here is concentration versus time here is y and here is our x so we have those points and we draw them at different time points okay this is the first one. This is a graph that we call it linear graph, okay? Which means my paper is linear as I just showed you. The, size, the spaces between numbers on x axis are the same. The spaces between different numbers on y axis are the same, okay? So this is rectilinear graph, okay? Let's... When we have semilog graph, okay, so we have semilog graph, we have y, we have x. Again, if this is concentration and this is time, I still have unit here, which is mass over uh, volume, okay, and this is time, let's say an hour, okay. You will, if we are talking about the same numbers you will see them differently 
because this graph or this axis is on log scale. It seems uh, you can visualize it af as if it's log, uh, log scale. What you draw here is the same as here, concentration versus time. But we are just changing the paper to semi-log paper. So the axis here is on the scale of log. And we have this as linear. So we didn't change the concentration. It's not an actual change to logarithm. Okay. If I take whatever that we draw in the first place on the rectilinear graph. Okay. And I, rather than having or drawing a concentration or your y as it is we took it as log y or log concentration and we have x at is as it is which is again time so each concentration here you have it as log concentration so if we have it one two three four and five we have this log concentration one log concentration two and so on and so forth the time we'll have it as it is so when we draw it here we have log concentration versus time which is log y versus x we will not um have unit here so it's unitless we don't have unit here we had unit and here we had units, so we don't have units, but we have units here. Why? Because I just change the concentration, which is actual change of the concentration to the log uh, term, okay? And this, again, the, uh, the uh, visual uh, of your profile will be uh, different, as, as the profile as itself will be similar to what you have here, as uh, visualization of the profile it will be the same because we are visualizing here as if it's transformed to log but it's not we are ju just changing the uh, paper that we are drawing on here it's rectilinear a graph so in here and in here we have rectilinear graphs okay so both let's say let's call it one two and three okay i will just insert another slide so we have one graph two graph and uh, three graph the paper type i'm not talking about the type of the profile that you have here is rectilinear again if we go back this is the first one this is rectilinear okay so we are drawing concentration versus time here is semi-log we are drawing the same thing but it's uh, we are visualizing the y-axis on the uh, logarithmic scale here we have a rectilinear but we are drawing log concentration over time okay so those are the difference we are having different paper from between uh, this one between the first one and the second one but we have the same paper here so when we are talking about this from one to th third from the first one to the third one we call it log transformation of the data that we have because we have actual transformation okay but we don't have this here because we didn't change anything between one and two okay so and between one and two we are changing the paper between one and three we are changing the number actually by transforming it to the log term we will not have unit here but we will have unit here because it's the same uh, as the first one okay so i hope by saying so you are able to uh, define the uh, linear uh, graph we call it graph or paper uh, versus uh, semilog a graph okay the last slide uh, in this uh, video 
um, in which I'm just emphasizing the importance of the um, kinetic units um, and uh, pharmacokinetic or the parameters or whatever that you are dealing with because um, whatever the symbols that is changing according to the reference that you are studying for example uh, delta D over delta T it's uh, not that um, clear here it's delta D over delta T in some references you'll have it as delta X over delta T this is mass over time so by knowing that the unit is mass over time, you know that it, it could be a couple of things in kinetic. Again, for example, zero order rate constant, which is K naught. Again, it's not that clear. The uh, unit of it uh, would be, again, mass over time. First order first, uh, rate constant will be one over time. The idea of this slide, just to be careful with the units of different terms in kinetics, because sometimes I will be talking about certain term and from the units you will know. Or, for example, you'll know if your constant is first zero order or first order by knowing that the constant for zero order is mass over time versus for first order is one over time. Okay, so by just knowing the or have the knowledge about the units that you have, you'll be able uh, to determine uh, the term that we are talking about. Okay, and we will stop here.